So I was just chilling out, reading something for an upcoming video. Yes, folks, we do learn for an upcoming video. In fact, there's a lot of learning that goes into it. And just then I saw an email and I thought, let's make a video. Let's explore things together. So in case you are a web developer, this video is going to be really interesting. If anybody of you is a web developer, uh, the, the word Postman is really very familiar to all of us. We all have used it. If you have developed any kind of API or have tested any kind of API, or even have just worked in the front end, the Postman is a go-to tool for everybody. And yes, there are alternate options uh, for the inbuilt uh, plugins for VS Code and a lot of things, but yes, Postman is kind of a go-to tool for everybody. And just right now, let me show you, I received an email. Uh, so uh, this is the email that I got that, hey, Postman is, uh, you got an early access of Postman VS Code extension. And I saw, is it just me that got this extension or everybody? Then I went on to just searching for it. And turns out it's available for everyone. It's fairly new uh, compared to how many developers actually use Postman. Uh, 3000 is like nothing. <laughs> By the time you'll be watching this video, it will be 10,000 or probably more. Just let me know in the comment section. By the time you're watching this video, how much is the download figure there right now? <laughs> just, just curious to know about that. So we have a couple of contenders here that we can actually pull through. I have created and started an app uh, onto the server here on 4000 so that we can at least see what's happening, how the request actually goes, uh, what fun we can have. And I also have the classiest uh, Thunder Client. So Thunder Client is actually the first, among one of the first extension, which actually probably pushed VS Code to actually make an extension. Otherwise they were purely happy with their a uh, little bulky and a slow uh, desktop application. So it was not enjoying them much uh, in the recent days, but I have just installed it. And the first thing that I noticed here is they look for sign-ins. So I can use Thunder Client without giving any of my login credential information. It just works out of the box. Uh, let's try to make a request here. Let's try a new request. So already my application is running. So let me just actually copy and paste this. So I have one of the requests. Let's see how does the request actually looks like on both of these clients and how does it work? Uh, so I have this URL, which is slash items, uh, items in which there is some response which I'm getting. Uh, so it's just a basic get request. Let's send this. And yes, I'm getting uh, some of the requests. So this is nice. I can see header information, uh, really nice cookies, result docs. I, I really just need this much of it information. I can definitely send my queries, headers, auth, so all of this, all of my bearer tokens, everything is mentioned. So a well thought out of plugin, we all are aware about Thunder Client. Let's see, the first thing that I noticed here is I have to sign in, I have to sign in. Like what's the point of sign in? Come on, give us an option, I, I want to just explore this. There's no point of signing in, so why too much collection of the data? Anyways, I'll give you on that, I'll sign in. I won't be like that, so yeah, open this up. And it's saying signing you in. So I already have an account. And uh, it should be just, that's it. So it opens up on the browser. You sign in into your account. I already have a Postman account. I uh, just, you get that. So this is the basics of how it looks like. Let's close this one. And let's see that if we are going to make uh, the same HTTP request, how the interface looks like. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it. So this says untitled request. Can I change this? No. No, no way to change this untitled request, at least as of now. Uh, let's see the URL. Let's see how does it looks like. Okay, so we have a lot more. Uh, okay, looks good, looks good. And we have slash items. Okay, what more I can do here? So let me close this one. Okay, I will get a response here. Uh, the keys, query parameters, all right. Authorization, no auth, basic, bearer token. All right, looks good. Headers, body, do we have form data? Yeah, we have form data. We can send images as well. And we have none, okay. Uh, raw, binary, JSON, so almost all options are here. So they are not cutting through any options. Uh, prerequisites, test, settings. Uh, settings, support for settings is coming soon. All right, I'll give you that. You are in beta, so I'll give you that much. Let's send it. All right, so very familiar-ish kind of a looking syntax. So compared to uh, what we saw in the Thunder Client, it's, it's almost looking like a Postman. So I can see it in raw, prettier. Ah, preview, nice. Pretty, yeah, get me pretty. Cookies, 
Okay, no cookies received from the server. That's nice. All the information that I want is here. What do you do? Clear response. Okay. All right. So that's minimizing it. Text-based results, body. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. This is probably for reporting the bug, logout, uh, more options, workspace. That's nice. Let's see. I have collections. Let's try to set some environment variables. Okay. Environment variable is not yet here. Okay. Uh, I think now Thunder Client is leading the way, honest opinion. Uh, but I think very soon the Postman guys are going to catch up. They have a pretty big team uh, compared to ThunderClient. They are humongous as a team. But this is good. Now I don't need to ask my students to install any, any software or something. I can just ask them to install an extension. And pretty much anything and everything can be done within just the VS Code. I hope this doesn't make VS Code too bulky because that's one thing I'm worried about. But anyways, together we saw some stuff and uh, we can just go and look for it. All right, so let's see what are the reviews right now. Reviews are always bad because people usually post reviews when they are unhappy, which makes reviews very skewed. So I don't really rely on, the, on that. Uh, the sidebar layout is a copy of Thunder Client extension. No, this is how it is going to be because you need to have, uh, you have only limited options of how things need to be done. <laughs> uh, so uh, it was expected. Requires you to log in to do anything which is not possible inside dev environment, which does not have internet connection. Yeah, that, that's a valid point. So this one is a valid point. This one I think is, uh, I think a fan base of Thunder Client, which is good, which is good. But I think this is valid. Also, I didn't like it why they asked me to log in. So if Postman is watching this video, uh, hey guys, hey folks, you are doing such an awesome job. You are such a big company. And uh, asking for a login, uh, yikes. I don't like it either. Uh, give us a guest option or something. Uh, this is I'm happy. Uh, like what more you can do? This is how the uh, entirety of the API testing and everything works. This is cool. I like that. Now I have two options. I can use this one. I like this one actually better. Not the top bottom. This is actually much easier because uh, this is somewhat, I don't know why, but I like this kind of a layout. Do we have option to change layout here as well in the in this one, do we have option to change the layout? Okay, let's get this. So can I change this? Nope, I cannot change this. No, no right click, nothing. All right, so this is your first look, <laughs> a fun video, just to test out the things which were just shared to me. All right, so if you have any of your opinion, let me know in the comment section. Let's see how, how this war is going to end up. This is all good for users at least. <laughs> all right, let's catch up in another such video.